So for today's video, I'm really excited because I decided to do an unboxing slash first impression of some items that I got from Dior. I kind of went to ham with the Dior store. It's a little sad, guys. My bank account is not so happy with me right now. <laughs> My channel. My name is Stephanie here on YouTube and if you like luxury fashion lifestyle videos then you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell to get notified when I upload new videos. These are just some items that I've had on my wish list for quite some time and I kind of just you know decided to rip the band-aid and just get them because honestly spring and summer are coming along and so will fall eventually so I thought these items would be perfect to wear for like the summer and springtime. Let's just see what I got from the Dior store. So right now I'm just going to insert a little clip of me unboxing the first thing that I got. I decided to go with these Dior sandals and I am so excited for this purchase. Like literally I feel like these are definitely going to be my go-to sandals for the spring and summer. I mean one thing that really drew me to wanting these sandals is definitely the logo right here because I feel like it's very unique and I don't really see that as much on sandals and I really just like the color of it too black and white and funny enough even though there is a logo on it I feel like it still can somehow go along with like a lot of outfits that you have because it's not too blinding and it kind of will like pop your outfit but not like too much to the point where it'll still blend in with your outfit. I was really excited to get this and I was impressed too because one of the pair of sandals that I do have in my collection are the Hermes white Iran sandals and those are really nice but after wearing them for a couple of days or a couple of months you can notice that it's like not as pretty as it used to be because this area of the sandal will start to stretch out more. You can kind of start to see the wear and tear of it which I feel like won't really happen with this one just because of how the logo is and how it's like built onto the sandal which is nice um, and a second thing that I also really liked about this one is how comfortable they are and they kind of don't they're not as loud as the Hermes Iran sandals that I have. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I feel like another YouTuber had mentioned this and I was like, that's so true. I agree with her where the Iran Hermes sandals, when you wear them, they kind of like flap really loud, like regular flip flops would do when you're like walking on hardwood floor. So when I tried these on at the store, that was like the first thing in my mind. I was like, are these going to be super loud as well? But honestly, they're not as loud as the Hermes Aron sandals. So I was like, this is definitely a go for me then because not only are they super comfortable, but they're not as loud. So that was definitely a plus for me too. I of course did do some research on this before buying them and the only really cons that I heard about it and I'm curious to see if this is going to happen to me is that apparently this little logo here at the bottom heel part will vanish apparently like as soon as you start using it so if that's something that would bother you I wouldn't really suggest getting these sandals I mean I don't really know yet because I just got them so maybe I could do a review a month from now after I've used these and see if it disappeared for me but personally I don't think that would bother me just because the main thing that really attracted me with these sandals were the logo so honestly I could care less if this disappears I just like the style of it so that was the first thing that I decided to get from the Dior store As you can tell from the second unboxing, I decided to go with the Christian Dior uh, card holder. So one thing that I really liked about this card holder is because I was in the market for looking for a new one, but I feel like I usually just go for the basic ones that are about like this big and just have a couple of slots. And Christian Dior did have a bunch of different ones. One thing that I thought that's really original with this one is that as soon as you open it, it's kind of like an accordion style, which is really cool. So you could probably fit about, I want to say like one, two, three, four and five you can fit five cards in here but obviously you can put more than one card in each of these little slots and I kind of liked it because I'm usually the type of person that only brings cards around with me but if I do have cash one day it'll be 
so easy to just fit that in here and also just kind of dump some coins in here so I think that's why I ended up going for this card holder instead of the other ones that they have that are super classic just because it's a little bit different and I feel like I could fit more as well I think the only downside though is that I mean it is pretty thin on the side but like if you have like a lot of tiny purses like I personally have a lot of tiny purses this probably won't fit it's better to have the slimmer card holder so I would just keep that in mind if you were in the market of looking for some kind of card holder like this as well but yeah overall I was really excited I like how it has the classic Christian Dior logo so that was very exciting when I decided to pick this up and I feel like I'll honestly probably just like carry this around with just my keys as well because it's just an easy like go-to kind of grab of wallet that you can use because um, it can fit pretty much everything that you would need on like those regular like long or like compact wallets. Okay so I think this was the initial reason why I want to go to the Dior store was for this bag. This has been on my wish list probably for like two years now or even probably as soon as it came out. I was so hesitant on getting this bag just because I know that this is a trendy bag. It's not really going to be like a Chanel investment piece bag or like a classic bag. So I think that's why I was like so hesitant but I just kept seeing it online and I kept seeing like other models have it. I was like it looks really cute and it's definitely my type of style just because I am such a sucker when it comes for the gold with black <laughs> kind of purses so I thought this would look so cute with a lot of outfits that I have because I feel like it's definitely like the style that would go with the kind of fashion sense that I have when it comes to pairing my outfits together so yeah I just decided to get it I was like whatever even if it's still not in style I feel like I'll still just use this just because like I said it goes with so many outfits that I have one thing though that I really like about this is just that it is a shoulder bag. Normally I am the person who likes crossbodies, but this one actually does come with a logo strap. I'm going to show you. There's two straps. There's the thick one that's really known that a lot of people probably get with this bag. And there's a thinner version where you can actually adjust the strap. They looked really nice. I tried them on at the store, but I was just like, eh, do I want to pay an extra $1,200 when I'm probably just going to be using the bag itself? not so much the strap because to me I feel like the strap because of the logo it probably won't really match with a lot of outfits that I have so I kind of just told myself that if anything if I was to use that strap it'll probably be in the winter time if I still want to use this bag so I'll probably like try this bag out and then maybe during the winter time if I see myself opting more for this bag I'll probably go back in the store and try it on again just to see what it looks like with like jackets or like a lot of layers that you have and maybe I'll add it to my piece I don't know I still don't know if I do I'll definitely make a video of it and why I decide to go with it or why I decided not to go with the strap but that is definitely something that you can keep in mind if this is one thing that kind of made you not want to go or gravitate towards this bag because it's just one option of just having it as a shoulder bag so just keep in mind that there is a strap that you can buy with it one other thing that before I want to buy it, I definitely want to see in stores, is how much can actually fit in this bag. So obviously you can already tell. So obviously you can already tell that with the shape of this bag, it's not going to fit a lot. So I was just curious to see if that wallet that I got, if that can fit in this bag, and also if my phone can fit in it. And honestly... There wasn't that much more that I could fit, but I was like, okay, those are like the most essential things I would have. And it's just like a little bit of like maybe my chapstick or like my car keys and stuff like that that I would probably like throw into this purse. So I definitely want to do a separate video of what's in my bag. So stay tuned for that if you're curious just to see what can fit in this. But basically for this video, I just want to kind of do a first impression and my overall thoughts of the bag. So that's pretty much all that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and first impression or if you had any of these items on your wish list and was kind of hesitant, hopefully this helped you kind of make a decision on them. So don't forget to leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this or have any other questions on the items that I got. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll check you guys out in my next video. Bye!